Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash Arc. Today is the ESL Mobile Open it's Season 4, and we're trying to find the top two teams in North America. Last season, it was us. We won first place at DreamHack Atlanta. And this season, we're trying to close it out here, and we're trying to get to ESL 1 in Los Angeles. And we have Maddie J kicking it off for us right away. So make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's see what Maddie J has for us. He's coming in with a uh, blimp, a Yeti blimp, Queen Charge hybrid attack here with the hybrid hogs and miners. Pulled the CC. Baby Dragon's gonna uh, break the funnel here and he's gonna have a Queen Charge take the town hall and he's gonna fight that CC off in a safe area. So, so far so good. So far so good. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh man, so much on the line here. Uh, we gotta get through this last phase. Right now it is phase uh, two and in phase three, that's where the real elimination round starts. Like this one, we can maybe, uh, we're pretty much good to get into phase three. So there's not a huge amount on the line right here. We need to get through this phase to get to phase three though. So let's see what Maddie's doing. He's coming in. Baby dragon helped him take out the witch. Another baby dragon and a balloon working into the archer tower. Finishing the funnel, driving that queen inward. Already a minute has passed here. So he's got to start moving to the next phase of the attack here. And you can see where he wants to go in with the hogs and the miners. And that would be right across the top of the base. He can use the king to go clear a lot of the trash up there. There comes the king. Wizard comes down to help him out. Queen's approaching that town hall. He wanted to also make sure that he had the queen take the town hall because you never know, right? But it takes a long time to get through all those uh, CC troops. And you gotta wait for the blimp to go through. Sometimes you can do a lot of that in parallel, but in this case, he's gonna continue charging in here. Let that queen keep on moving along there. She's gonna fight off the warden while the hogs and the miners sweep into the core of the base here. Warden builder comes down as he drives toward that eagle artillery. Getting got the tornado trap there. Slowing down a little bit. The queen getting hit by that uh, scatter shot, but the scatter shot being tanked there is allowing it to not go to the hogs and the miners. Very, very centralized hogs and miners punching through the core of this base here. Chasing after some skeleton traps there. The skeletons, I don't know what they're going after. They kind of veered off there a little bit. Breeze comes down, trying to get the scatter shot through, or get through the scatter shot, I mean, but the scatter shot's doing some heavy, heavy damage. Turns back on the queen. 45 seconds. Doing good on time right now. If this queen survives this area, step out of the range of the scatter shot. She does go down, but the healers are now going to take the scatter shot for a little bit here. He's got a little bit of a break here, and he can shoot into the expo and go right into it. Plenty of minus, ducking under the giant bombs there. Healer's still tanking the scatter shot. Good job, healers. Let's go. Matty J with the chance to close it out. It is. It's going to be a triple. King stepping in behind. Miners are going to all beeline towards that last building. The clan castle is going to go down with the warden helping out there. And there it is with three seconds to spare. Matty J kicking us off in cup four of the ESL mobile open season four with a triple. What a way to kick it off here. Let's keep going. We have a lot of war left and a lot of action, so don't go anywhere. All right, guys, we're winding down to about the last 20 minutes of the war, and that's the way these wars tend to go. If we see a base that we know we can triple, we hit it right away and we get it out of the way and put the pressure on them early so that they know that they have to go in for the triple and it gets in their head, you know? But then the rest of the bases, we leave them unhit until we start to get close to the end. And that way, if somebody gets a one star, because a couple of these bases are anti two star bases like the one I'm going to be hitting here. So we'll pull it up here. We'll go over the plan because if I one starred, we don't want to give that information to the opponent early on. We want, oh, somebody's live. Let's dive over here. They're going against me. Here we go. De Grooch attacking my base here. And he's coming in with a Siege Barracks Yeti smash with a couple Pekkas here. Starting off with this Warden walk. Going to start to work his way in. Ground Expo on the Warden. He's going to step up into the cannon. Not too much damage right here, but he will likely have to rage to work his way through there. Baby Dragon clearing out a little bit of the trash for him. Charging him in a little bit faster. He looks are safe. Jump comes down. Okay, he's going to charge right into my eagle compartment here, and then he can go from there and maybe jump across to my town hall? I don't know what he's thinking here. Warden's going to take the air defense, but he doesn't want to have that warden go too far. He doesn't want him to step all the way up into that inferno. So King comes in on the outside to try to funnel everything else into the jump spell. 
Giant Bomb's gonna kill a handful of the wizards there. Yeti's working their way in. Uh, he's got the Rock Champion also working in. That cannon going down slow. Do we need the troops break off to it? They're thinking about it. They're bouncing back and forth there. They could decide what they want to do. Some ground skellies there distracting them off again. Handful of Yetis go to the Eagle. Into the scatter shot. Already uses his ward ability. Pulls the CC. Got a witch and a double ice golem coming out of there. Royal Champion taking out the Inferno. A couple hogs coming out of the siege barracks. They're going to come in and take out the other Inferno. He's charging into the town hall area. Now a lot of damage on this other side here. The hogs getting struck by the scatter shot there. Just one strike was hopefully enough to weaken the entire flank. Going to the town hall. He's got lots of yetis alive here. And the healers are staying with them. Royal Champion pops their ability. The enemy queen is not locking onto his Royal Champion. That's not good. Did he get another shot? Okay, Royal Champion goes down. A couple of Yetis on the outside here. Minute 15 on the clock. Lots of Yetis alive here. Slow trudge to the base. He's got a shot here. He might be able to get it. Very slow push. Like, the healers are keeping everything up. Everything is staying in a pile. And he's getting a massive effect out of those healers. He's got a couple Wizards coming on the flanks there. And they're going to start to clean that out. I think, he, I think he's got the triple here. He's got a lot of force left. The queen get a popper ability to get to the enemy king. And yeah, the Grooch comes in and triples me. Well, that's not good. <laughs> all right, we're all tied up, I guess. Nice hit. Nice hit. All right, well, I got to get triple then. I definitely got a triple. Dang. Rip that base, huh? That was a nice hit. That was a very nice hit. Anything about that? All right, so... Let's go. I have my attack here. All right, so tied up, tied up. Oh, that's the wrong base. We'll be hitting that one in a minute. Don't worry. Right here. Okay. So what I want to do? I feel like I want to take a little bit of a gamble here, because he's got a CC over here and it's lurable. Do I go in and lure it? and try to send it over to the other side of the base here. And I can go in with a golem and I can go in with my king and queen and I could draw the CC over to this other side of the base here relatively easy with like an archer or something. And then I can have my heroes go in and just lay into these other heroes. If I can take out those heroes, I can take out the bomb tower, the wizard tower and the air defense and the CC. That's all I really need. Then. I can start to sweep around the base. I can send the hogs. They can rush the eagle here. I can send in an ice golem and my royal champion to go take out the scatter shot. That'll save me a heal on the approach and it'll distract and keep everything safe through that scatter shot. And then we can work our way around the base here. And I have uh, four heal spells and two freezes to work my way around. And they would cross here. I'd have the blimps uh, fly in and take the town hall with some yetis inside. And then uh, we approach the backside of the base here and I could come in. I could just hold a couple hogs as distraction for the scatter shot as I approach. And then just line up some cleanup behind it. That could work, right? The only thing I'm worried about is the hogs. If the town hall activates and the hogs are in the area, then they might go to the town hall before the blimp gets there. That could potentially be a problem, but I think I think we'll be OK. I think we'll be OK. I got to make sure I get a good Coco loon down. So as soon as like this air defense goes down, I got to start to path a balloon to go start crossing the base here. Oh, I'm a little nervous. All right. Well, we'll be back in just a minute as soon as either the next live attack goes in or as soon as I'm ready to go in. OK. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Live three, two, one. I'm in. Give me another CC. Look good. Queen. 
down. Dogs. In the town hall. Fox in the flank. The heel. Clean up. Tesla's. You got Tesla's up top. Big Tesla farm up there. We're gonna have to go back for it. Through the. Got a shot. Where's my raw champion? Champion ability. Okay, hey, we're good. We're good. Again. Yeah, she got the Tesla funk, so... Good, good, good. You got it? I think so. Okay. Clean up. <laughs> I just lose all my hogs to the golem. Oh, there's still a couple left. Okay. <laughs> no, they spread out a little bit. All right, all right. Gonna miss that queen pad. Can you get through it. All right, we're good. We're good. I got time. Close, but <laughs> all right. Hell yeah. Op. Shit. Thank you, thank you. Bring it home. Four minutes. Anybody need a spot or? I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh oh, you only got two minutes to figure it out. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh... We even have bases allocated yet. Who's hitting one? I'm. I'm gonna have to. Hit Me. It. All right. Just kidding. I'm mute while I commentate this attack. All right, guys, the last attacks of the war going in, really almost the first attacks because everything is just going to go rapid fire here in the last couple seconds. Vaxilla coming in on level eight Pidgey here. And as soon as this one is done, we'll bounce over to the live attacks that are in currently or after this one, I should say, that are going to be currently. And we'll try to catch the most fresh attack and we'll see. But right now, they have to triple because my attack just got... Put the pressure on him. Another live attack goes in. We're walking this town hall. Got the quad quake already opened up that core, but no CC pull. He's got to fight the CC in the middle of the base. That's never easy. That's never easy. E drag comes down. E drag's gonna start to form the funnel. Warden's getting distracted by some ground skellies here. Jump comes down, and he's pretty much got the funnel established here. That E drag's doing some work over there. Getting some good value out of the E drag. If he takes down that arch tower, he's pretty much got it set over there. Siege Barracks comes over on the flank. But that uh, Pekka's going to come out and is going to go right into that Inferno. Let's see what does that. Triple Ice Golem comes out of CC. Worst possible CC you could ever want to fight in this attack. And if the Pekka on the flank there just gets roasted by that Inferno, it's going to lose a lot of value over there. Charging in. Triple Ice Golem freezing him up while the scatter shots are hitting him. Ward ability hasn't been used yet. Maybe should be using it right now. More giants coming on the flank. Hogs come out to try to save the P.E.K.K.A. but it's too late. Loses a whole bunch of the wizards on the flank there to a giant bomb. I don't know if this one's gonna make it. The hogs are gonna be joined with the real champion trying to get to that single inferno. It's a lot of effort to get to that single inferno. He's uh, thinning out really bad here. This one is gonna be uh, two star, but it is a fail. Let's bounce over here. We got a fresh attack that just started. Holy cow. Let's grab a screenshot of that. Let's grab a screenshot of that. Wow. Okay. Let's jump into race. Let's jump into race. Raze is just starting off here or no, he's a little bit in. Looks like he used the heroes to go form a funnel to drive these dragons in. Got, uh, one air defense. Didn't get the other one here. He still has his Royal Champion, so as soon as the CC itself is destroyed, he can send the Royal Champion to start to sweep this side and stay away from the enemy heroes. And 
He's going to do all right with that. Warden ability, going to protect him as he shoots in this town hall. He tries doing some work here. Royal Champion comes down, and Siege, or Soul Slammer comes in on the other side here. He's got a Troll test in the corner there. Got to watch out for that. Can't put an Archer on that uh, hut yet. Just be patient. Be patient. Our champion's going to pop her ability, gets his entire Tessa farm. Oh, almost entire Tessa farm. All but one. He's got one more freeze here. Freezes the Inferno and the Ward statue. But look at this. The... Oh. The Royal Champion ended up surviving a little bit too long there. It's going to pull the Hound, and that's going to stop him from getting through that. That's going to be a, that's gonna be a defense. Nice try, raise. Over here, we got level 8 Pidgey. Coming in with a uh, Yeti Smash here. He already blimped. Yetis are going to take the Teslas. It's all right. Doing all right so far. Does the queen go in? Go in, queen. No, the queen's walking on him. Not good. Not the end of the world, but not great, right? Triple jump into this base. It's going to push him all the way through. Looks like the blimp actually took out the entire 9 o'clock corner, but left some Teslas up over there. Can he send the Royal Champion through and finish off those Teslas, get through the cannon and sweep that whole side? No, he's going to come on the opposite side here. He can end on that. That's all right. Not a huge threat over there, but he's actually going to get a lot of protection for his Royal Champion from the side because everything pretty much is tanked right there from or from the internal troops. The Queen coming up behind that Royal Champion. They're going to work in tandem to get through that area. The Royal Champion pops their ability, gets all the defenses down along the edge there. The Queen's going to have to catch up later. Heal is still alive there. The triple. This honestly could triple. He's got a minion coming over there. Maybe that minion should have gone in the corner. That's all right. Either way, Royal Champion's still safe. Road Champion's going to pick up the healer as the Yeti goes down. Okay, Road Champion's going to go off by itself here. The Queen can actually go back. Or she'll swing in the back and take out that cannon. Come on, healer. Come on, healer. Keep this uh, Road Champion alive. Keep her alive. Loses the healer. Oh, there's only a couple of Teslas left. I think it's at a time fail. I think he's got enough force here. But can... The remaining heroes finish it off here. The Warden can actually outrange the Tesla, so... Oh, guys, as soon as we come out of this attack, the war is going to be over. We're going to see a result. It's going to time fail, though. It's going to time fail. Very, very nice try here by level 8 Pidgey, but can't quite close it. He needs to level up. He needs to go to level 9. Maybe then he can get it. Oh, 99% can't close it. Is it enough? Is it enough? End of the war. Let's see the final result. 12-12. It's going to percentage. They did get a triple. Who did they triple? Let's watch that first. Let's watch that first. Then we'll look at the result. I'm a little nervous to look. I'm honestly a little nervous to look. 99%. That's good, though. 99%. Definitely giving us a percentage chance at this. But let's see what Matty J did. Or what they did against Matty J. So he did it with a queen. Or excuse me, a warden walk and a baby dragon. Guys, I'm so freaking nervous to look. I don't know if I want to see it. I have to see it, though. I have to see it. My phone just uh, gave me a notification saying that the match is closed. I'm not going to look at the result. I'm going to flip my phone over so the ESL app doesn't tell me what's going on. We got a whole bunch of archers that came out here and uh, Warden dealing with those. No problem here. Blimp comes down, going to take out the single and form the funnel. Rage up those yetis that come out of the blimp. One of the most popular strategies in the game right now. The yeti blimp with either the, the P.E.K.K.A. smash or the hybrid with the queen charge. So many different ways that you can do this attack here. Extremely versatile. Wizard comes down in the corner, start to clear out the trash there, and the king comes in next to it. Wizard gets picked off there, but that's all right. The king will join with the main group here, and you can see he has a straight shot into the base there through that jump spell, and then a quad quake will open up the entire core. Wall to wall, getting the entire thing open, and you can see all that's going to be outlined is this uh, single inferno over here, and relatively thin pathing here. Him to sweep through the king on the outside there going to clear out that entire outside and mix with the remaining troops there are going to push towards the single inferno so very well structured very well thought out here and uh just ripping through the core of this base here ripping through the core of this base and he's got the road champion coming in on the flank there that joins with the king the king clearing out all the trash on the outside here a couple teslas a couple teslas over at four o'clock he's gonna drop in a couple blues there help deal with that the Royal Champion has actually taken over some of the healers, or trying to, as she sweeps past. Engages enemy Royal Champion. Still has her ability, so she can actually pop her ability, and you have to pop it before the scatter shot hits her, otherwise she can go down. 
because there's too much damage, especially like around single infernos and stuff like that. She can get burned down through her ability and never actually get it off here. But look at this. The single inferno with yetis, with still yeti mites in their basket, is going to make so that the yeti mites are going to bounce over the wall there and they're going to take out the single inferno. So, see here? There we go. There we go. So, Master Chief closing it out against Maddie J here for the triple. All right, guys. Let's go look at the score. Let's look at the score. Um. Yeah, uh, we just started another war, so I can only assume that means one hive took the win. Let's go to the war log here, and there it is. Oh, that's the wrong one. There it is. <laughs> oh, man. 92% to 81%. One hive taking out Golden X, playing out of Archibaldians. One hive playing out of Tactical Ink today, but... We're going to show more in future videos throughout the week here. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. This one was crazy. This one was exciting. We got exactly what we needed to close it out here and we came out with the win. So we'll move on and continue through cup four of phase two, the final cup before we move to the final elimination rounds and two teams are going to be going to ESL one in Los Angeles and playing on stage in front of a live audience for a lot of money, guys. So good luck or I should good luck to me good luck to me not you you don't need luck i need it i'm gonna keep it all it's all for me all right guys take it easy i'll see you in the next one